Hey everybody and welcome. This is Kevin Wallace, Double CCA and Cisco Press author with another training video for you. This video is going to show you how to do OSPF route summarization. Now it's interesting with OSPF, we cannot just do route summarization on any router we please. It has to be done either at an ASBR, an Autonomous System Boundary Router, or an ABR, an Area Border Router, and the syntax for doing that differs on those two different types of routers. Now, by the way, this video that you're about to see, it's a sample video from my upcoming Encore video training series that gets you ready for Cisco's 350-401 exam. Now, join me as we go take a look at OSPF route summarization. In this video, we're going to see how to configure route summarization with OSPF. First of all, let's address what route summarization can do for us. It can help us take multiple entries, multiple network advertisements that would be entries in our IP writing table, and consolidate them down into a summary advertisement. For example, we've got four networks coming into router R1, 192.168.0.0, slash 24, .1.0.2.0.3.0, those addresses look like they have a lot in common. In fact, if we were to break this down into binary, we would see, well, we can obviously see that the first 16 bits are in common, the first two octets, but as we examine that third octet, and if we start to count the number of bits we have in common, we actually have six bits in that third octet that are in common among all four of these individual routes. That means instead of advertising the four routes by themselves, we could send a summary advertisement. And that's going to reduce the number of entries in our IP writing table. It can help with processor utilization on the router. Maybe make it easier to troubleshoot as well. So here's how we do this. We say, I've got 22 bits in common. So instead of advertising each of these slash 24 networks, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to figure out what my subnet mask is, 22 binary ones followed by 10 binary zeros in dotted decimal. That's going to be a 255.255.252.0. And the network specifically that I'm going to be advertising is what we get if we put 10 zeros, the host bits, after all of those 22 bits that we have in common. We make the last 10 bit zeros, and that's going to give us the network that we advertise, which is going to be 192.168.0.0. Specifically, the route with the subnet mask that we advertise, the summarized route is 192.168.0.0 slash 22. And router R1 can send that single summarized route as opposed to sending all those individual routes. But with OSPF, we have a couple of options for doing this route summarization. We might be uh, sending routes from one autonomous system into another autonomous system. Like here we have router R3 acting as an autonomous system boundary router sitting between the EIGRP autonomous system and the OSPF autonomous system. There's one way to summarize routes as we go between autonomous systems. Systems, or we might want to summarize routes as we're going from area one into area zero. And we would do that on the area border router, on the ABR, that's router R2. Here are those two different options and the syntax that we're going to be using in this video. We can summarize at the ABR, the area border router in this case, for networks being advertised from one area into another area. That's where we can do the summarization as we're coming into the area. But if we're coming in from another autonomous system, like router R3 on screen, we're coming in from that EIGRP autonomous system, we could use the summary hyphen address command. Now let's go out to a live interface and we're going to configure this topology where we're going to be summarizing the loopback interfaces on R3, the 172.18 networks. We're going to summarize those that live in EIGRP right now as they're being injected into OSPF. We're going to summarize those. And also on router R2, we're going to summarize the 172.17 networks as they're about to be injected into area zero. Now let's go out to a live interface and check it out. In this demonstration, we want to take a look at a couple of ways of doing that summarization. As we said, there's one way to do it as we're going from one autonomous system into OSPF. There's another way of doing it if we're going between OSPF areas. We want to summarize the 172.18 networks on router R3, those are router R3's loopback interfaces. We want to summarize those as they're coming into OSPF. And on router R2, we want to summarize those loopback interfaces, the 172.17 networks, as they're being injected into area zero. Let's begin though, before we do anything, by going to R1 and just seeing what networks do we know about right now. If I do a show IP route, 
it looks like we know about all of the individual routes, all the 172.17 routes, and all the 172.18 routes. Nothing is currently being summarized. All right, let's fix that. First, let's summarize those 172.18 networks assigned to router R3's loopback interfaces. And uh, doing the binary math as we did just a few moments ago, we're going to see that we've got the first 22 bits in common among all of those networks. In other words, I want to send a summary address of 172.18.0.0 slash 22 into the OSPF autonomous system. So let's do that. We're going to do that on the ASBR router R3. And I'm going to go into global configuration mode, and I'll say router OSPF process ID 1, that's already configured. And here's how I do the summarization. I'm going to say summary hyphen address 172.18.0.0, and we give a slash 22, which in dotted decimal is 255.255.255.0. And that's it. We're now sending a summary of those four individual networks instead of those networks individually into OSPF. Let's confirm that. Let's go over to router R1, where just moments ago we saw all of the individual 172.18 networks. Let's see what we have now. Let's do another show IP route. Now look at this. Instead of the individual networks showing up, We've got a summarized network, 172.18.0.0 slash 22. Great news. Now, let's go to router R2 and summarize those 172.17 networks that are the loopback interfaces on R2 as they're being injected from area 1 into area 0. Let's summarize those into 172.17.0.0 slash 22. Let's go over to router R2 and let's go into... OSPF router configuration mode for process ID 1, and I'll say area 1 range 172.17.0.0, and a subnet mask is going to be 255.255.252.0. Let's use some context-sensitive help here. Oh, and something I want you to note is this number right here, this area 1 range. A lot of students have confusion about what area number to put in here. They wonder, is it the area that I'm summarizing from, or is this the area I'm summarizing into? Well, it's the area that we're summarizing from. Think of it as the area where things exist right now. We're trying to change it, but right now we've got those four individual networks present in area one. We want to summarize that. So that's the network we're injecting from. And also notice that one of the things we could specify here is the cost of a route as we're injecting it into another area. If I don't specify the cost, what's going to be used? Well, here's what Cisco IOS does. Cisco IOS is going to use the best metric of all those subordinate routes. It's going to pick the one with the best metric, in other words, the lowest cost, and it's going to assign that cost to the summarized route. Or if I wanted to set it to something else, I could set the cost here. Oh, and something else, and this works the same as it did on the ASBR, if I say, hey, here's a summary route to send into this area, if I don't have any subordinate routes for that summarized route, I'm not going to advertise the summarized route. I've got to have something that actually falls into that summarized address space or else we're not going to advertise the summarized route. Now let's see if this works. Let's go ahead and press enter. I'll just take the default cost and let's go over to router R1 and once again we'll do a show IP route and see if we have summarized those 172.17 networks. Look at this. Yes, we have. Instead of seeing those four individual networks, now we're looking at a summary route of 172.17.0.0 slash 22. And that's a look at a couple of ways of doing OSPF route summarization using the summary hyphen address command on an ASBR and using the area range command on an ABR.